So, um, I'm waiting for sunset. Just sitting here by the banks of the river, the Chao Praia. And there are, you know, people paddling and stuff like that and just chilling out on the temple grounds. So, earlier a uh, 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 friend asked, um, so how are you coming along with this minimalistic lifestyle, right? And uh, my reply was, fantastic. And, um, and I was thinking about it, right? So, so there are a few things that are just way different compared to previous now, uh, previously. So, so the first is because all the stuff that I brought with me, that I have with me, are the, are the things that I actually need, right? So what that means is that I, everything that I actually need is all around me and within reach very easily and is not scattered all over the place. And um, almost everything that I, that I have with me are things that I actually use and not things that are just lying there and um, kept in the corner, archived and, and just, you know, accumulated over the years, right? So, so what's the word for it? Oh yeah, hoarding. <laughs> so I'm not hoarding as much, right? Because I can't hoard and I don't want to. And the other day is like, I was walking through the market and I was walking through, in, in, in Bangkok, I was going through, I was uh, in um, the shopping malls, right? And honestly, there was nothing that I wanted to buy. You know, I just looked and appreciated it. I mean, the, the shops, all the, all the retail stores, you know, beautiful. I mean, the shopping malls in Bangkok is, is amazing, especially this shopping mall, the new one called Icon Siam. It's, it's mind-blowing, all right? I've never seen a mall like that. And yeah, it was just nice to see all these things that, and, uh, I did, and and it, I just didn't feel like there was anything I needed to buy, so so that was good. You were just appreciating it rather than you know I want to buy this, I want to get this, I want to I need this, I want to own this, you know. So so that kind of that thing kind of fades away. It's yeah, and it's pretty good. So the second thing is, um, I think. It's easier to read people also because when you meet people, they tend to judge you based on superficiality, what you own, what you wear, and they sort of put a picture in their minds. Oh, look at that, man. <laughs> That's nice. There's a group party on the river, man. So yeah. So, so, and that's natural because if we don't know anything and we look at it and we read and, and we interpret and then our minds put a label on that person, right? Based on, you know, how they look, yeah, their clothes, their watch. And then that's not necessarily a bad thing because it helps us like sort of like, you know, uh, have an initial overview. The problem is when we take that initial overview as the final conclusion or judgment on the person, right? So, so, and um, I think that's lazy, yeah? And, and uh, you don't really try to understand, talk to them or, you know, just get to know others but immediately in your mind, it's like, yeah, they're like that, huh, they're like this, huh, they must like this, they must like that, they must not like this, and blah, 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 right? That's so lazy. And honestly, it's good because if, if when I meet people like that, I, I don't really want to spend time with them. So, so anyways, the third thing is that 
when you're not rushing for something when you're saying like okay I don't have to be back for dinner by 7 I don't have an appointment at 8 I don't have brunch at 11 a.m. and I don't have to rush to check in and check out by which time and to we'll catch the tuk-tuk or the bus is waiting or the boat is waiting you know when we're not in a rush and hemmed in by by time you I well I'm talking about myself I'm, I'm appreciating I find myself seeing more and appreciating more and feeling more and possibly even understanding more you know and uh, yeah just just like right now man I'm just standing by the river if I want food I can get food but there's nothing pushing me to another timeline or another deadline so yeah so I'm just chilling and looking at the temples yeah while the sun sets <laughs> okay enough of that laters